Okay guys, uh, so a little bit more on that Triumph 400X that I mentioned in a video uh, yesterday. So this is my Triumph 400X that I bought back in say February time. I added it to the fleet of uh, bikes for people to ride back to back down here, here in North Devon. Um, and what I also do is take guided trips out. So I take people on guided trips and one of which is the Iceland trip that I've got going in a few days time. One of the questions I asked was which bike to take. I've got the Vogue 300 Rally, I've got the KTM 390 Adventure and a 450 Himalayan, etc. But there was something, when I thought about it some more, that made me curious about taking the Triumph. I, I like the Triumph, I like the engine in it. I like it's sort of, it's more fun and quirky, not actually quirky is the wrong word, quick, fun and quick than a lot of the other bikes. And I just thought maybe this is its opportunity to shine. Uh, John at Rally Raid was working on a kit for it. John and Liz, a family owned business, have been friends of mine. You know, we've been friends for a good 10 years. And he said, well, why don't we put some of the kit on it and, and see how it goes. So. Uh, the bike was gone, went up to Northampton a week or so ago, and, and in that time, they fitted their tubeless spoke wheels and their tractive rear shock. The fork internals are the same, they're still waiting for some parts to come in before they do a reworked fork internals, uh, because they've realized that actually, the spec on the, the 400X is, the reality is 10, 20 mil less travel than it says on the spec sheet. So they've been able to adapt it to, to give you the full listed uh, suspension travel at the front. And then we've got a uh, custom rear rack at the rear and some sides, which should mean that I can put some soft luggage on there quite nicely. I've just finished it off with some, uh, just some Amazon hand guards, they were about 30 quid. John's also put on uh, an X-ring chain, a heavy duty chain, because I was finding even after like 800, 800 miles, the stock chain was stretching out and was quite loose on the sprocket. It, these bikes do, of mine do have a hard life, you know, they, they're used for trail riding and people ride them off road and they have lots of different riders on them. So they do get a hard life, but I've never had a chain go quite as quick as on this one. Same with the brake pads, 800 miles and it needed new front brake pads, which interestingly, uh, Triumph don't have in stock. So you do have to buy, um, uh, KT, well, KTM ones fit to uh, EBC do a pattern part. So that's it. So we've got, basically is a, a stock Triumph 400, X in many ways, bar the wheels and the suspension, which hopefully is just going to eradicate that slight um, unnervingness that you get when you start to push on, on on this bike. I always felt that the the engine in this bike was better than the chassis, and the chassis was holding the engine back. And hopefully, with some re reworked suspension, it's just going to allow you to make better use of of that engine. Uh, the wheels. I mean, you could argue the wheels have got cosmetic uh, appeal only. Do they change the way it rides? Not really. Do, do they make it any better for off-road riding? Well, arguably, but not uh, objectively. Uh, so what they do do is make it look a lot better, a lot more blingy. And they mated it with some Bridgestone AX41 tires, which I've run on quite a few bikes and, and really like those as a, as a tire. So they've gone on. But other than that, you know, it's a, it's a stock bike. John's going to put everything up on, on his website. Wheels are usually about 1200 quid and suspension is about eight, 900 quid or so for the front and rear. So, you know, it's not, they're not cheap parts, but then it's not a cheap company. Uh, Northampton based British engineers. What I like about Rally Raid, Ever since I've known them, and I got to know them when they were working on the 500X project, I was editing ABR magazine, Adventure Bike Rider magazine at the time, and I was speaking to him about the 500X, and I think we both acknowledged what a great bike it was. It just needed a 19 rather than a 17 inch front wheel, which it had back then. Uh, and so he set about making bigger wheels for it and the custom racks and the, and the longer travel suspension. So the 500X then was followed by the 310GS, spoke wheels for that. And then they did work on the 300 uh, CRF 300L and Rally. And then also the Tenere, they do a lot of work on the Tenere's as well. So you are paying for a company that invests time, money and know-how into making a base bike better. So it's not just sort of AliExpress bolt-ons, it's, it's a probably UK engineered solution. So, you know, um, I've got nothing in it for me other than some blingy wheels, but um, as a company that I admire and have enjoyed working with, uh, I don't need any persuasion to say that. So yeah, if you're curious about making your Triumph look a little bit tartier, fancier, and with the suspension, because to me, if, you, if you've got a limited budget, then it's the suspension that's gonna make this bike better. The wheels make it look great. The suspension is, gonna, is what's gonna make it ride great. Knobbly tires are obviously gonna uh, lose a bit of refinement on the road. We accept that for the off-road grip that it's gonna get, give me. Is it the best bike for Iceland? I don't know. I'm a curious, I'm an inquisitive about riding it in Iceland to see how it stands up to the use, to see if I enjoy riding it, to see if it makes a good travel companion, because that's what we're looking for really in the bike on a longer trip, a travel companion. 
Does it make you excited to be riding it? You know, do you enjoy giving it some throttle? Do you enjoy going through this, the scenery on that bike? Then, and, and you know, that's kind of what, that's a measure of success. The engine, as I say, already makes me excited to be riding it. I enjoy riding it, it's got a strong engine. Uh, and the handling's good. And actually the standing position works well for off-road riding. It just like that suspension. It's a shame I've not got the internals ready in time uh, for this trip. Uh, it's, only, it's only the rear shock upgrade on this, but even that alone should mean it handles that little bit better in the dirt. So yeah, this is gonna go in the back of a van and take it up. Well, I'm driving it up to Denmark, catching the ferry. And then I've got a van driver who's gonna drive the van and I'll unload this and ride this. We've got 14 riders. They're all on CRS, Vosges, um, 310 GSs. All smaller bikes, you know, for me, the smaller bike is, it personally makes so much more sense if you're going traveling, um, or going a distance. Fuel economy, uh, purchase price, reliability generally, maneuverability, manageability. You know, I see a lot of people who are overbiked and that inhibits them on, a, on an adventure. It makes them nervous. And a smaller, smaller bike, it's, it's not a small bike, it's still a full-size bike, but a smaller, lighter bike uh, just helps people. Uh, feel at ease with the conditions that they're riding in. And financially, you know, you're not going to spend 12, 15, 20,000 pounds on a bike. Still not cheap, five, and five, six, five, seven. You know, you could get a second hand, lots of other bikes that do the same job for 2,000 pounds. So I don't think you need even need to spend this much money on a travel bike. You don't. Lots of good bikes out there, F650 GS or something like that. They would, Trans Alps, they would do this job uh, easy without having to spend money on bling bling. So. You know, you can always cut your cloth accordingly. I would always say if you're on a limited budget, spend it on, spend it on travel rather than on the bike. Uh, because you'll, you'll have fonder memories from the trip than you will the bike. So that's it, Triumph 400 x Great job by Rally Raid. Very keen to see how it goes in Iceland. Uh, there's all the details on the website. I'll just give you a quick tour around it now. Save me waffling on it any longer. But um, I'll just show you. Let's have a closer look, shall we? So let's put an X-ring chain on because the original was stretching out at 700 miles. So the rims, well, let me tell you about the hubs, actually. The hubs are a, a, a billet aluminium hub that they make in-house, the engineer in-house. They design an engineer in-house at Rally Raid. So that comes from a, a 20 kilo block of aluminium and it's uh, CNC down to give a hub weight of 1.8 kilos, I think. So you lose 18 kilos of swarf to make that single hub there. So why are they expensive, these wheels? because the, the, there's a hell of a, heck of a lot of uh, machinery involved. The, the wheels are then laced, I think at Central Wheels over in Birmingham, and then I believe they go off to Holland for the bar tubeless system to mean that they're tubeless um, spoke rims. So you can see there's, there's, there's no seal there, it's on the inside, there's a band running on the inside to make it tubeless, which means if I get a puncture, I can just plug it rather than have to get a tube in. Uh, the rack itself, just some side plates there, and then this, it just it just clips on in the same way that the, um, the the pillion seat does. So with a key, you'll be able to lift that off and put the pillion seat back on. So that'll take luggage nice. They've got a tank bag to go on there. And then we've just got, um, I'll put a link up on these Amazon. They're only 30 quid, but they seem pretty good. Or like a bark buster, but a lot cheaper. I'll just show you that rear shock at, at the back. So it's, um, prototype tractive rear shock it's got no linkage on this a bit like the 310 gs so you, uh, people are finding it difficult to lower the 400x uh, i believe john's working on some sort of setup that allows you to reduce the ride height the seat height of this 400x and that's it so i shall load her up and then she will take to iceland would i be better on the uh, CF Moto 450 MT, who knows, but uh, that came too late. So that all, uh, the adventures of that will, will have to be saved for another day. All right, DorothySpeedShop.com. I will get around to put some dates up, but at the minute, summer is absolutely hectic. So bear with me, bear with me. All right, cheers.